Canelo Alvarez looking to the his talent is indeed equal to the mega popularity that he's achieved in his young career. Austin Trout wants to silence the crowd and bring both belts back to Las Cruces. The sea of humanity here at the Alamo Dome erupting. Oh, like and Austin Trout coming forward. Well, again, it comes down so to that. It's Canelo. He's got to come forward. And that's what Trout wants. Yeah, he changed the dynamic of Miguel Cotto in his last fight. This is his 150 seconds. To maintain distance and maintain control with the jab, he'll be able to do it. Canelo said he wants to not just at least. Trout is controlling the real estate in this fight again as he did against Cotto. Under the first round, Canelo coming off a fifth round TKO win against Jose Cito Lopez. Last to set up a liver liquefying left hook. And there's a lead left hook as he swarms Trout along the ropes. Cole calling for the bell. Round two underway and immediately Trout delivers three consecutive. There is a bigger difference in experience than some might think between these two combatants. Canelo has faced five. In the first round, Canelo got to Trout at about this distance. He felt, felt like he was almost there and then he just Canelo couldn't. flashes the jab, doubles up the jab. But Trout took the punch well. Yeah, Canelo he starting to, to see bullying his opponents in the past, especially the smaller. He, he was starting to see Canelo, Trout co consistently slip the jab to his own left. Jab of his own that misses. An amazing atmosphere. Absolutely electric at the end. Distance and another look at it pulled the head down of Austin Trout uh, and was he's a veteran. And you, were, you were wondering how he landed it from so far away. Yes. Right? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? The bell in round three of this schedule 12 round battle. Trout in these recent fights against now, against uh, Alvarez, he has a chin. He's been hit by, by both fighters. Wrong. The exact amount of power cross stance. Canelo looking to jab. Lead right. There's a nice one-two that catches Canelo. Canelo lunging in. Swarming Trout. Right back in stalk, stalking position. There's a one-two. Straight right hand from Canelo. The punches and again pivots away from the ropes. Looking to establish control in the center of the ring as he unloads two. They're both, they're both the body slow down the fleet-footed Trout. You see a lot of times they're straight shot, they're cross. Canelo's right cross and Trout's left on it. Good point. Time! Take a deep breath. His yeah. biggest fan, MJ Trout, was the age of 10, of course. We the Trout pops Canelo's head back with the jab. Now Canelo comes just to 94 for Alvarez. And you know, uh, Alvarez is landing well, but Trout... And Canelo lunging forward, not gauging the distance, and Trout tagging him. Canelo lands the jet to his cheek. High guard on the right side, and there he blocks that. Straight left from... The jab, and then the straight right to the sternum. 15 seconds left in the round. Oh, a nice jab from Canelo. That's it. Good? Okay. Canelo Alvarez was able to land that solid jab and it, against the left-hander when you're right. Except for Steve Farwood, who has the fight a draw. Both Paulie and I uh, have a slide of the fight after the fourth round and after the eighth. Trout started this fight trying to be the boss with the jab, but these lines come as effectively as it was earlier. Canelo so using some head movement, weaving, trying to avoid Trout's jab and comes back with a... Right. Counter shot. You need to make yes. Canelo think twice about being so aggressive. A solid yeah. counter shot will do that. That might yeah. look enemy number one for the sub pop. Yeah, excuse me, Amar. A very active and better. Good head movement. Good head Canelo. movement by Canelo. Lands the straight left to the sternum. He was able to use that cuffing right hand to push. Canelo Alvarez away, and then that's a lot of the punches that Austin Trout's throwing. And we talk about the fact that even though Canelo has had some defensive liabilities, there's the good score was the same as ours. Two, two, up, and one judge had it even. That was through four rounds. Canelo landed up. Sticks the jab. Trout 
Goes to the body belt. Canelo misses wildly with the right uppercut. Lead left hook connects by Canelo. Crowd's got to be careful. Uppercut by Canelo. Counter right by Trout. Trout now going to the uppercut. Men remaining in the sixth round here at the Alamo Dome. Trout ducks underneath that right hand. Keeping his hands very low. You know, Al, you made a point with those body shots Trout yeah, throwing. Canelo doing a good job. And, and the head movement There's stopped. The left hook to the body. Those straight shots Trout's throwing. Although it's a nice. good counter from him. Dance counter right. We've reached the midpoint. We take a look at Canelo with his hands low, stationary, as Paulie said. Some are not getting there, but Trout was controlling the action. This is often the case when you have a conventional oh. fighter. And Good there shot. is Canelo dropping Trout with a straight Trout winking at Canelo like now on the attack. Trout trying to survive Canelo overhand over. right. A counter left from Trout. I was saying that when you have a orthodox fighting a single makes them look a little awkward, but right now they are just looking for the home run. So yeah. scintillating action here. In the just like it's the middle of the round. Trout came out to a lazy jab. Another right hand connects. Alvarez is landing some big shots. He is finding a home for that overhand right. And with every Ooh. shot gaining confidence as Trout comes behind the guard with the... He's done better than Canelo since he's been hurt. Canelo rips a right hand to the body. Trout comes back. Wants to circle away from the right. There's Trout with a nice streak because we know Trout can be hurt even in the rounds in which he does well now. Hits him with the jab, misses with the left, and Canelo was looking for the counter right. Play the way this round started, did you think it would end with Trout walking down? In his career, a, a jab that set the stage for the right hand. Was Austin Trout hurt? Yeah, you bet. And that was very he was hurt badly early in the round, sent down as you see there. But Austin Trout came back to probably win. Canelo got kind of tired toward the end of that last it's round. It's title so. against Zap Judo from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Man, some of these rounds could go either way. And, and maybe we are in Texas. You never know how the judges here will see things. Just ask Paulie Malinacci. <laughs> and well, Trout now has Canelo on the ropes. And Trout lands a straight left. Now. Yes, good point. Explains that they believe Alvarez is tired, and this is the kind of some of the evidence of that. S languishing on the ropes over bouts in the past has and let them fight. Good run. And there's a nice straight left from Trout as the action picks up here in the night. Canelo told us that patience was the uppercut very effectively against Cotto. Didn't expect to see too much in this fight, but he's landed it. Putting together. Warrior it's punches. It's a good fight. And is Trout landing enough punches solidly to win these rounds, even though. The land catcher with his shots. So we're now going to see whether Austin Trout can pick up the pace. And here's the point it makes Trout fight a totally And he forces him to go into the teeth of the lion, so to speak, because Canelo is the puncher. And he is more aggressive. But it is true also. At least he knows where he stands. Normally he wouldn't. So this is an interesting 64. And Canelo just landed another overhand right and resets. There's a one-two combination by the south pot. He gets jacked to the jaw again by the other. aggressive, but he added a couple of extra punches to that combo. Looked look good, but Trout has really controlled for the most part. Canelo done with the showboating for a moment again. With the high. Two points for Steve and one for about for the 154 pound titles neither man has and at lost the end of the day that's all that really matters the uh, three judges five here. and oh for canelo alvarez it's a nice one to come they mentioned in canelo's corner to get aggressive these are the championship right there by canelo connects wants to double up but left uppercut to the body there's a right uppercut to the torso by canelo catches we are headed to the 12th and final round here 
in Texas, title unification fight on Showtime. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it, baby. Come on. Austin Trout was buckled by another one of those uppercuts. And so defense this round. So let's see what he does. But he knows all he has to do is end the round. Now Trout, back with an overhand right. Just past the minute mark of this final round. Right hand coming with Jim Gray, who had the scores read to him by the corner of Austin Trout, that they read it directly from the information they got. Remaining in the fight. Predicted. We are on our way. 12 around distance fight. We're going to the judges' scorecards here in Texas. This is when Austin Trout went down from a straight right hand. This happened really only seconds. And you look at it and you will see again the right hand. It was kind told of a, himself to start the round. I know this guy's going to come out jabbing. I'm going to plant myself and throw a counter right. And the round before. Saul Tane. 